Now that we are in Bangkok, it's we thought it's hard to get diverse food, but man, we thought wrong. As one food I've been really missing, and that is Greek food. So if you didn't know, I'm half Greek, and we decided to come to Thailand. I just like figure, why not? Let me take a look and see if there's Greek food here. Maybe it's a chance. It's a bigger city, and lo and behold, I found a place. It looks incredible. It's called Yasas. Welcome to Rallies. So from a very young age, our father used to say to us every day of our life, eat your Greek food. In Greek, to faiso. In Thai, gin kao hong kun. Eat your Greek food. We believe strongly in real traditional hospitality, the Greek way. Uh, the, our favorite restaurants in Greece were always the village restaurants. You would drive out a little bit to the countryside or to the mountains, and you'd find that one restaurant which makes traditional, authentic Greek food. And that's what we are here at Rallys. As Greeks, we're going to think, I, I hope it's not some kind of tourist gimmick, you know? I, I hope it's the real thing. It's, I hope it's like my grandmother's cooking, you know? And I hope there's, it's just the feel of going to your local cafe neo, you know? Gatis metapedia. You can play davoli here, we have frappe, anything you want. And the menu just keeps getting bigger. You call what you want, we can make it for you. Before we opened up, I had experience for over 12 years in managing and, and being the head of many production uh, productions around Thailand, including boat events, private uh, parties in, in, in villas and and uh, private events uh, around Thailand, um, including VIP clients which come from abroad and expats. So whoever wanted to come to Thailand, basically, I would give them the most luxury, luxurious experiences they could um, be offered here in Thailand. We've been open for nearly a year and a half now. Hi, my name is Alex, or Alexandros in Greek. I'm the owner of Rally's Greek Restaurant here in Bangkok. So we were born in Southeast London, Peckham. We left uh, England, London when we were 17 years old. Um, we have a house in Greece, in a small village called Vicinia, near Gastoria, which is near the Mount of Vitsi. My name is Achilles, Achilles. I am the co-founder of Rallies and the chairman of the Ethics and Disciplinary Committee for the Global Association of Mixed Martial Arts. We uh, grew up practicing the martial art of Judo. Uh, we pursued that uh, to, to a serious degree. So we were in the national team in England and then in Greece and then in Thailand. Uh, with the situation in Greece, before the financial crisis, the Olympics were in Athens, 2004. So we basically prepared our whole lives to compete in the Athens Olympics for the country of Greece, which we felt very proud to be from since our father was Greek. Uh, things didn't plan out the way we wanted it to because of certain issues with the government, which led to the financial crisis in Greece. So fortunately, we were able to leave Greece before that, before the financial crisis. So our mother is, is uh, from Thailand. Uh, we moved around from the whole world, basically, 26 countries by the age of 17 for our previous career in judo. And we ended up in Thailand. Uh, the, the country of our mother. Growing up in southeast London, at that time in the 90s, 80s and 90s, it was a pretty sort of rough area to grow up in, very racially diverse. So our, our parents would work most of the day, so we would have to go to school by ourselves, come back home by ourselves. And my brother being older, he would uh, often go out and do certain jobs to get money. Cook Buy Greek food. food. And come home and cook Greek food, right? So yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
growing up with a very uh, intellectual father. Our father was a theoretical physicist. So um, it was, we, we, we got to the stage where we had finished our judo career where we had to study something or get some kind of education so that we could use that to, to, to find a job or do some kind of business. He spoke nine languages as well, Dad yeah. did. Nine languages. We three only speak is, three is uh, nothing, right? Nothing, right? Oh my God. <laughs> you know, so uh, that being said, uh, I found an interest. I was 27 years old, just finished judo career, traveled the world, all this experience. Hadn't really read a book from cover to, to end. And uh, I decided to take an interest into, uh, into philosophy on an academic level, uh, which, which, you know, it's a bit cliche. If you're Greek, oh, is it a philosopher, you know. So having uh, studied philosophy, it gave me a pathway into working as a paralegal for, for a law firm here in Bangkok. And uh, that led me to certain work with non-profit organizations that are involved in developing martial arts within countries so that it can benefit the youth. Uh, this is also very interesting for us because we grew up as how did you say, uh, it was, uh, practicing sport was challenging without the sufficient funds. You know, financially, you're always looking for sponsorship for this and that. So we, as athletes growing up, we were always, ha we always had a second job while we were training and competing. We like to lead in what we do and set example by what we do. And that, create, that, that is a lot of discipline which is needed, which we, we got from the judo. And we've used this discipline in the event and restaurant industry now. Alex is the chef. My job is to pick up heavy things, move them around. So unfortunately, um, our father, Athanasios Rallis, passed away five years ago. And it was our father's dream for me and Achilles to continue his legacy in a certain way. We did that already with the judo and the sport. So the next step for us was to create Rallis is what we did. We named the restaurant Rallis basically after our father. All the knowledge he gave us in the food and, our, and his mother, our grandmother, we put that on the menu today. Growing up basically as sons of a, a Greek father, our father was fanatical about Greek food. So we would eat Greek yogurt, honey and nuts from the day we were born basically throughout our whole lives. The cooking process usually for Greek food is, is more about the preparation. It's not a, a, um, a kind of food where you need to use hundreds of ingredients. It's actually very simple, but the process for making the food is an all-day process, basically. Just like you see the old grandmothers in Greece rolling out bread all day, we do the same here. We don't use machines, we use our bare hands, and we work day and night happily and singing Greek, to Greek songs all day. strict and very on point that way the consistency of our food is always good. We feel really blessed to, to be able to have Relis and operate every day and um, during the course of one and a half years since we've been open Greeks have surprisingly been hiding out here in Thailand for many years. A lot of families Greeks married to Thais um, and have little toddlers and little kids um, for over 20 years here in Thailand. So the Greek community is slowly growing here and we feel very blessed to be the main ground for Greek socializing here in Bangkok, Thailand. Rallies, our main motto is eat your Greek food, which means we cook and eat Greek food all day and all night. We've been doing so for over 20 years across the globe.
Oh man, souvlaki. I've been missing souvlaki for so long. It smells amazing. It's grilled over charcoal, which is key. Eat your Greek food. Damn right. <laughs> grilled over charcoal, which is key. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. Crazy juicy. It's got that oregano, lemon, olive oil. Man, it's got all, it's just real Greek flavor right here in Thailand, which is crazy. Feels like I'm eating on the streets of Astoria. Watch them put the food together, stack up the meat, stack up the lamb souvla, everything has been awesome to watch the preparation. The pita is made fresh. We have freshly made pita yeah. from scratch. We watch him making it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, yeah, so they also, as a restaurant and then in an event space. So we got dip. For a tzatziki, we have our fava, made with the fava bean, it's yellow dip. And with the melanzana salata, the eggplant dip. Eat the freshly made pita. You gotta eat some, even, even eat some of the pita just bite by itself. You could taste the homemade feel in it. And I like how they put herbs in the dough, so it gives it another layer of flavor. And then this fava. Fava is one of my favorite Greek dips. It's not always easy to find. I love the fava, it's got like a really earthy, almost slightly fruity taste to it too. Really, really nice, smooth. It's almost, I like to think of it as like a Greek hummus. You have the classic tzatziki with the Greek yogurt, dill. It's almost like aromatic. Very, very nice. Mm. Mm. Like a fruit salad. Just have the tiro kefteri, the spicy feta. The taramo salata made with the fish egg. They even have this uh, olive dip they made up themselves. Really nice, made with kalamata olive. Yeah, the melatonin salt is also one of my favorites, the eggplant dip. Mm. It's so smoky. They even put little bits of feta in here with the herbs, but that smoky flavor is really what makes the melatonin salt so special. This one's very on point. Yeah, like I'm most excited to try this uh, kleftiko. It's the slow roasted lamb. It's been roasted for nine hours, slow cooked. You just gotta see when he pulled it out of the oven, just barely even needed to move that big meat cleaver. It's just, it's just mincing up those pieces. It's just so tender, falling apart. Mm-hmm. Mouth in your mouth, lamb. What's nice too is this one, this one has, that's like the bark piece. You get a little of the outside bark of the spices. So you get like, like a little char on it. And there's that really tender interior as minimally spiced. That's what, that's what's nice about it with this kind of dish. Really let the taste of the lamb speak for itself. And it's speaking, it's talking to me. And we also have the Lamb souvla. So I think it's almost like a st it's stacked up lamb marinated. We saw it being marinated earlier with different spices. We have oregano, sumac, all these different olive oil, lemon. It's roasted horizontally, almost like a gyro, but horizontally. The lamb souvla. Mm -hmm. uh, that lemony flavor, that sumac gives it some tanginess, and those fresh oregano. Fresh oregano is like a staple Greek flavor, and they, they are not shy in the oregano here. I really appreciate that it's like, it's really like some village Greek cooking in the middle of Thailand, in like a little village almost in the middle of a big city in Bangkok. Like, this is a very unique experience for sure. I'm so happy we found this here. Miss Greek food. Almost a year since we had it, until we came here. Actually, over a year since we had it, until we came here. Ένα τελευταίο μήνυμα για όλα τα παιδιά στη Βυσσινιά, Καστοριά Βυσσινιά. Σήκωσε το τηλέφωνο, ρε!